Good evening. This is The Late Report. Well, a two-pound chunk of ceiling material fell from the roof of the Kingdom last weekend and plummeted into some empty seats. Officials say that if the chunk had fallen just a few weeks earlier at the year's final Seahawks game, it still would have probably fallen into some empty seats. <laughs> A Beacon Hill Elementary School has been infested by rats who leave droppings on desks and floors. The rat problem was first brought to the school's attention when the entire first grade brought rats to show and tell. <laughs> Free seminars about landslides are being offered to area residents that live in slide-prone areas. The first seminar in the series is entitled, RUN! <laughs> The Pike Place Market executive director received a vote of no confidence from a group of merchants this week. In other action, the guitar player on the second level landing <laughs> received a vote of no talent. <laughs> Tukwila leaders are lobbying to have the light rail line route changed from Highway 99 to South Center. Although there's nothing funny about this story, we found it humorous that Tukwila actually has leaders. <laughs> This week, several Democrats in Olympia rode a yellow school bus from the Capitol to an elementary school to showcase their plans for better schools. Along the way, the bigger Democrats beat up the smaller, weaker Democrats and <laughs> took their lunch money. The 1999 Bellevue Home Show is taking place this weekend, featuring the Bedroom of Dreams. Also featured, the Kitchen of Delusion and the Living Room of No Way. <laughs> Well, the Puget Sound region is becoming one of the worst traffic areas in the nation. One solution may be the proposed light rail system, and here to explain it is Pat Cashman. Pat? Thank you, John. Thank you. And, you know, I'll get to that light rail uh, proposed route in a moment, but something else I wanted to bring up first, if it would be okay, John. Uh, well... Yeah, I, I guess, sure. Good, good. Because, as you may have heard a couple of weeks ago, the Disney animated film The Rescuers was recalled from stores nationwide after it was discovered that the cartoon contained two frames showing a naked pair of female breasts. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard about that. I guess it's, that's pretty pathetic that someone would get all exercised over two frames of video. I, I don't think that's even perceptible to human vision. I, I can't, uh, frankly, John, believe that you as a parent of little kids uh, would not be upset about something that was discovered like that in a Disney film. Well, uh, actually, uh, you're right. I don't, I don't worry about it too well, much. Well, I do. Okay. <laughs> and what I have discovered is a pattern of reckless and suggestive stuff in Disney's animated features. I, Pat, I thought you were going to talk about light rail. I'm going to talk about light rail, but first, <laughs> take a look at some of these scenes I found in movies that we thought we knew. Right. Here's an old favorite, Lady and the Tramp. Seems innocent enough. Here's Tramp rolling over. Now let's run that again, slow, and freeze it right there. <laughs> you notice anything missing, John? <laughs> Is perhaps this movie actually better named Lady and the Other Lady? I, uh, I never noticed that before. Pat. There's, there's more, John, much more. Here's cute little Jiminy Cricket hopping onto the fireplace mantle. There's Geppetto painting on Pinocchio's face. Look where Jiminy's hand is. Can you believe that? He's having a fine time. And he seems to know exactly what he's doing. I think you've made your point, Pat. Okay. I wish that was the end of it, John. It's not. Remember Bambi? Seems like such a sweet film. Until this scene coming up with Thumper and his girlfriend. There's not even any subtlety to that. I, I don't remember that scene going on that long. Ago. Yeah, I was kind of surprised about that myself. And uh, check out this shot from the supposedly charming little fairy tale of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. W watch this. What's that all about? And why are the dwarves always singing hi-ho, hi-ho, 
Why did they call her that? She's just cleaning their place up. I, I think you may be reading things into this. Pat. I don't think so, John. Now, I used to love Peter Pan. Wonderful story. There's Peter. There's Wendy. She's going to put his shadow back on. And then I look more closely at this scene where Tinkerbell is stuck in a drawer and gets caught in a keyhole. Now watch this, John. You slow that down a little bit and you add some music to it and you got something downright disgusting. <laughs> Why would you slow the video down and put that music in it? What? Well, I'm just saying, uh, there's a lot of sickos out there, so you don't put it past them. They could do that. All right, look, Pat, we're just about out of time. You haven't talked at all about light rail. Okay. Not at all. Okay, I'm going to get to that right now, and I was just about to do it. Now, okay. if you look at this animation of the proposed light rail system, you will see that as it moves south, it terminates down near Tacoma. Hey, you know something? Just... You know something? We're out of time. This has been the late report. Don't go ahead, because we'll